Jeff, we just did the infiltration test, really phenomenal results. This is uh, the next part of it. Uh, what are we going to be doing here? Well, and, uh, you know, I think this is really the more important part is that we're really looking at the soils. Uh, these are, again, that, that uh, and its soil, both the same uh, uh, soil, except this, is, of course, has been managed a lot different. No-till, long-term no-till. You can see they have a rye cover crop on it, uh, conventional till. But what, what we want to do on, on both of these samples, first of all, is just pick them up and really look at, at that soil structure and what happened on the, on the bottom. And if you look at that, that sample, uh, you can see here that we didn't infiltrate any water. It's really dry on the bottom. Where here we've got uh, really wet conditions, et cetera. It infiltrated that water. We've got that macropore development, those wormholes coming all the way through that sample based on biology. It's about soil structure. So let's push them out and, and go from there. All right. You ready? Oh, come on. So you've given me the tough one here. Yeah, it's a okay. give me the tough one again. <laughs> okay. It's actually coming out. Okay. Whoop. Oh. In chunks. Okay, so is that platy structure right there? Well, you know, it, for the most part, you're really looking at it has, has really poor structure. Um, it's, it's massive, maybe subangular blocky uh, platy on the surface, but it's, it's really muddy and, and super saturated on that surface. I don't know if you could truly really see that. You've got platy soil structure, you can see that right here, yeah. really pretty obvious. Right. If right. you really start looking at, compared to, to this one, yeah. and we can turn this around a little bit, you can see the roots. But you can also see here how uh, oh my goodness how granular that that structure is compared oh my to goodness. yeah okay so, so you got you got uh, got really nice granular structure so that's basically pore space that's where the water and the air is going to go through absolutely and well there's there's not a pore space you know you can't see them it's all no wormholes yeah no wormholes no wormholes no pore space uh, it, it's a it's about structure 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 that's okay. that's how we would. Uh, is, is really the, the situation or the issue here, so. Okay, well this is a great illustration. Thank you so much, Jeff. Yep. And uh, what's interesting to me is, is you, you'd go out here, you take a, a spade full of soil, and people would look at that and say, well, well, that looks fine, that looks great. There's nothing wrong with that. The only problem is they don't have any context. So we went over and got the end of soil the way it was supposed to look, and look at the organic matter differences. I mean, you don't have to be a soil scientist to figure out this. Look at the soil structural differences.